Hello and welcome, this is S tier rank. Today I'm playing some more Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. Let's go ahead and hop in here. I just got into the main menu and I've got about 350,000 credits here. Let's see if there's anything good that we could buy for our AC at this moment. I think that I left off wanting to get a legs upgrade, but I might have already done it. Um, let's double check. Firearm specialization goes down, but AP and arms load limit goes up. Yeah, I'm not sure that's quite worth it. So let's just look at our assembly real fast and see what else we might want to do. Um, we'll go down to legs and see if this one upgrades three aspects, the so weight, energy load going on. But let's see, that puts us in that overburdened territory. So I think that might have been where I left off is that I'd actually bought the legs, but didn't have um, a setup for them yet. I wish I could tell the value of these as well. Um, it actually has a toggle display. Oh, it's a whole different set of stats here. I had no clue about. So this one would increase only two things overall. And let's see, the weight improves, and energy efficiency improves. But the load is changing. Okay, so I guess it, it's not going to support enough of my stuff to make it like possible or worth it. I really wish that there was just a faster way to tell. Oh well. Interesting, there's also a sort ability. How about sort value? Hmm. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Um let's see, I think because I entered the game using keyboard, everything's showing keyboard control, so Let's see if I can get out of that real fast. Um, a moment, let me reload stream, make sure that we're live. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so I guess we'll just go back into here and actually we'll go into sortie and we'll do a new mission. Okay, Operation Wall Climber. Assist assault on the Rubicon Liberation Front, Stronghold, and destroy the Juggernaut Heavy Mobile Artillery Platform. Min route rendezvous with friendly craft. Extra rewards based on number of enemies destroyed. 330,000. I think it's Coral. This request comes straight from Archibus headquarters. They want you to assist with a mission the corporations are calling Operation Wall Climber. This is V2 Snare, leader of the Vesper Second Squad. I will chair the briefing for this mission. This is an operation of my own design. Consider it a privilege to be called to participate. You will be attacking the Wall, a key trading outpost fortified by the Rubicon Liberation Front. The rabble have formed a defensive line comprised of artillery and MT squads. Break through the line, then make your way to the top of the Wall. There you shall find the Juggernaut, a mobile heavy artillery platform. Destroy it. V4 will also be participating in this mission, infiltrating through a separate route. However, be aware that Balaam has also taken a crack at the wall, only for their vainglorious hopes to be dashed. Do try not to die like a dog out there. Okay, this might be a tricky one. I remember seeing a bit of this one, I think, in some of the preview videos that Your are coming out. objective up. is to take the Liberation Front Fortress, the Wall. Show them you're worth the credits, 621. And if this mission is a success, I think I'll spend a little time customizing the look of my mech and maybe save it. And, uh... If it's not, I might try to work on the loadout a little bit and see if I can get parts that are better for the mission. I'm probably going to be rusty since it's been about a week since I played, but we'll see if we can figure out the controls. 
Oh, actually destroyed something like that. Guys, maybe we're under attack. They're in the city. Just one AC. Okay, we'll get up there and take out this guy, too. Okay, that may be enough. We gotta take on the tetrapod. Might be strong enough to do, you know. Oh, that was big. This is saying this has some bite to it, so. Ooh, wow. Spikes. Ooh. So I need to keep shooting. You know. Wow. That's really done a down on this guy, too. I'm getting a lot of ricochet, that's what's happening. I see it now. Ooh. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and restart mission. Let's see if what we can do any better. Probably need to take out more of the turrets as well. That looked like part of my problem. We'll start by clearing the way for Archivus. Take out the Gatling cannons protecting the city and the bounce tetrapod MT further in. Ah, that's paying attention. I was probably noticed to talk about the uh, tetrapod too. You'll never climb a wall, Corporation Dog! Oh, yeah, we will. See what else we can get. Okay, nice. some of these artillery dudes because they might interfere with my taking out the tetrapod. We're under in the city. In we stand as one. Die, mercenary. All right, nice. Let's get up here and take out a few more of them.
Okay. Oops. Apparently we can get stuff on it. <laughs> okay, and what else is there? Well, there's at least two or three more of them left to get out here. chance to take out the tetrapod. Oh, there's a couple more on the left. Just want to remove any advantage of that tetrapod may be having while we fight. Okay, one more. But there's one more on this other side though. Maybe even two or three. Oh, looks like it might not be actually. Looks like my boost is recharging in the air a little bit too, so that's nice. Um, I guess my new outfit is probably helping me with that. Alright, let's see. Can I just do that? I can. Nice. wonder if it'll let me cheese it in here. Oh, there's another enemy. See if we can just cheese it a little bit to get it softened up. And we'll fly away. Alright, little tetrapod. Let's see if we can make your life really bad. Woo! Looks like it might make my life really bad. for a second. I have no idea how to take this one on. It seems more aggressive than the first one I beat. I wonder if getting out my sword would be a good idea. Maybe I can hop over here and bazooka and hit the tank here. There we go. Maybe this is what I'm gonna do. Nope. It jumped up on the building. Gotta say, I didn't expect that. No repair kits remain. Man, this guy just seems to get one or two hits on me and he is golden. Of course, there's little guys that keep coming up. Difficult, difficult, difficult. Oh, somebody just shelled me. Dang! So those guys are the ones that are hitting me hard. That's why the tetrapod is taking me out so quickly. They actually are sitting in reinforcements here and there. I guess they're anti-cheesing bots. Uh, let's see. I think that I could actually take advantage of these tall buildings and rain fire from above like I just did. That seemed to work pretty well. It's a legit strategy for orbs, right? 
wouldn't seem to be able to take them on in direct combat this time, so. <laughs> we'll just tease it. Okay, let's get that booster back up. Alright, well that did a little bit of damage. We're definitely getting it. Wow, okay. It's doing pretty well, actually. I have to think about using terrain more often. Alright, almost there. Let's wait for him to do another volley. There he goes. Maybe it'd be this big thing, but that's cool. We'll have to get some strong armor and weapons to be able to clear this mission more quickly. I haven't even got to the big boss yet. In here. Oh, he's got a shield. No wonder he's in so long. Nice. Okay. Gotta get rid of this rocket, bro. These guys are always a pain. There we go. Slow guys are dodging my bazookas. Alright, nice. Don't know if I had to take them out, but I did. I think this level has a lot of replayability in it. If I have enough ammo to actually beat this boss, pretty low, but we'll see. Assuming this is the door. Six two one. I've dispatched a supply sherpa. Make sure you resupply. Oh, cool. Well, that's a nice feature. That's cool. I think that's more than fair considering all the ammo I depleted on that tetrapod. Second. I'll distract it while you hit its blind spot. Watch out, it's coming. Oh, 
Oop. It is aiming at me. Let's run away for a second. Assume that the back or somewhere. There we go. That seemed to be a good hit. So we got its health down by about a quarter. That's just a solid wall. You've got to hit it in the back. Looks like. Uh oh. Ooh, things fast. Oh, turned it on pretty quickly. It's definitely a lot more nimble than you'd think, based on size. Starts recovering. Maybe I can hit it from up high. Nope. Oh boy, this is gonna be tight. I don't feel like I'm doing any damage to it now. That quick turn it does is what's killing me, I think. Just get around it. Oh. Looks like it's coming close. I'm trying to corner it, but that doesn't seem to be a good idea. There we go. Okay, that did some damage. I think it's just going to be a matter of whittling them down, and it seems like I'm doing okay if I'm in the air. So maybe that's how I can play it. If he doesn't. Oh, there's the speed up. I was wondering if he was going to get it like massively harder. how we're going to do it. Yeah, he seems to not be able to hit me up at this side. Let's 
see. Are we getting there? I think we've almost got them. Yeah. There we go. All right. Good. Wish we could get just one of his weapon systems offline. It would be awesome. that one up just in case since we're getting close. Hopefully this is it. There we go. Those are some good hits. Shooting these little short range things and they're messing me up. Oh wow, I messed up big time. We'll be able to make another cycle, but we'll sure try. Light shoulder ammunition depleted. Alright, well, we're out of missiles. Let's just try to wing it from here. There we go. Nice. First try. Wow, did not expect that. Sweet. Operation Wall Climber is a success. That pilot, Rusty, it seems he knew who you really are. It won't matter. I've taken that contingency into account. All right, that was fun. I wonder if we got any new parts a lot. We're war buddies now. I think I should tell you something. During Operation Wall Climber, Archibus was planning to sacrifice you. The plan was to use independent mercenaries to clear the way so that the Vespers could step in and take over. But instead, you took the wall. The higher ups are going to remember you now, that's for sure. As will I. New exercise data, okay. And new parts, good. Let's go see what we have. Got 674 and it's burning a hole in my wallet. Let's see. Oh, look at this. Pulse gun. Rapid fire pulse gun developed by Takagawa Harmonics. Destroys targets a sustained high frequency oscillation, making it especially suited for canceling out pulse offenses, which use the same technology. Very cool. 90,000. Attack power and impact's really low. Rounds are higher. The weight significantly lower. So that's cool. Wonder if that's worth getting. Let's see what other parts we have. Laser blade. Stable laser control enables powerful energy based slashing attacks. I don't know if that's the base one or what. Okay, it's another pulse gun. And let's see, I didn't see any new indicators here. Oh, this one's new. Uh, a active homing missile launcher. A missile launcher developed by Furlon Dynamics. Features high powered payloads with propulsion systems deliberately slowed down. Missiles hound targets during lengthy airborne time, enabling heavy pressure tactics. Well, it looks like it goes down, but the improvement on impact is there. 
and let's see. Okay. I think we'll just stay off of it. Let's see what else there is. Thinking that legs maybe where I really need to focus on. Oh, tetrapod legs. Oh, look at this crazy thing. Heavyweight tank parts developed by Balam. Uh, designed with a simple goal of turning ACs into tanks capable of carrying the heavy weaponry manufactured by Defane Core Industries. Boost goes down. Let's see. QB speed. I think it's quick boost. Okay. So it's going to bring up the weight a good bit, but the load limit see total load goes down and the load limit goes up okay from 55,000 to 100,000 what about this one uh, the energy load goes down let's try this I think I want to build like a giant tank type thing oh a new generator Well, that would be cool. Capacity goes up, recharge is lower, supply recovery is lower, post recovery goes up, and so does energy firearm. Okay, let's go to AC design and we will put on our tank legs. Uh, here we go. Oh, they use internal boosters. Interesting. I wonder if there's and you need to buy anything then. Okay. Um, that might be all I can really afford to do at this moment as far as note grade goes. Um, we'll just have to see about using that new um, pulse gun or other things. And let's go to the AC design and let's just check out paint stuff for a minute. wonder if I can like paint everything all at once. Hey, I can. Um, oh, these cool color sets. Looks like there's a lot of neat stuff here. Might go with something really bright. Yeah. There we go. Do something really bright so it stands out in the crowd. <laughs> okay. Nice. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. <laughs> Alright. Let's, uh,. Pop in here. Actually, love it. It's a great color scheme. Um, okay. Let's see about these other training things. I might do another mission. Retrieve combat logs. The wall. Cover at least five combat logs from MT Rex. Mission must complete within time limit. Extra rewards based on the logs are covered. Okay. Hopefully my tank tread legs will be useful on this mission. Main system activating combat mode. 
Wow, four minutes. Search the nearby racks for combat logs recording engagements with V4 Rusty. That's what we're looking for, 621. I'll analyze it on my end. System log extracted from rack allows one to examine the operation of the craft prior to its destruction. Log indicates that the FCS was operating at maximum capacity, yet it was still unable to track the enemy. It's completely overwhelmed by V4's rusty speed. This is clearly a one sided engagement. This gives us some more insight on V4 skills. Oh, yeah, this thing is definitely slower. I guess it's not going to give us any quest markers to try to find these. That's okay. We'll just blow stuff up. This thing is so slow. It's hilarious. Uh, I see wreckage down that way. Maybe I'm just seeing it keep going forward. Booster still works. Open fire! Kill the intruder! I'll just ignore them for now. Keep looking for data to collect. There we go. Let's see, conversation between allies prior to the start of the mission. We can't beat the top vesters or as good as dead. At least Zai Z is off duty. She's the Liberation Front's little sister. She doesn't deserve to be out there on the battlefield. She can still love and be loved and have a family. Worthless. Okay. Let's see. Oh, here's another one. Good. What are you doing here? Looks like they're out scavenging. Could be a dozer. They're still dangerous. Yep, I'm gonna have to take you out to you. Looks like the juggernaut. Okay. Communication attempt. Obtain such our data from an attempt to communicate with Rusty during combat. How could you? I know who you are. I've seen Uncle's files. At least tell me why. Very interesting. Huh. This could be worth something. Let's see. One more. It's probably somewhere really obvious, and I'm gonna blow past it. Keep an eye on the clock. Either avoid combat or make it quick. Okay, so this is one of the boundaries, and I don't know. This feels like that, that could have been the last thing, but I keep hopping around. I feel like the fourth one would have been a little bit higher. No, maybe it's back here. No, nope. more world boundary. So I guess I better uh, backtrack. Don't know if we'll make this in a minute, but we'll see. So it does get some good air time though. It's not down there either. Almost out of time, oh, there we go. It was this burning thing. I didn't see it. I don't know. Oops. I think it's not letting me extract it. There we go. Still haze. Video record extracted from a wreck. Last uh, one to discern the assembly of Rusty's AC. Still haze. Still haze appears to be assembled from a Schneider high mobility frame equipped with weapons that allow for swift, agile action. 
Notably, Rusty appears to favor kinetic weaponry that Vesper members would not normally use. Alright, kinetic. That's all I'm supposed to get. Mission failed. Interesting. Okay. We'll just try from the top again. Main system activating combat mode. Commence mission. Search the nearby racks for combat logs recording engagements with V4 Rusty. Okay. That's what we're looking for, 621. I'll analyze it on my end. Okay, well, since we already read it, we'll pass it. Gives us more insight about V4 skills. Okay, let's see. Actually, I felt like there was a second one up here. Maybe not. I do know that there's the big guy and that guy at last. Maybe it was this guy up on the snowy bank. Two of them near each other. That's right. I see him. Though. The big guy, and then the guy on the right too. Okay. That makes three logs. Worthless. Analyzing. Okay, this makes me think this is gonna be a part where it basically tells me to go look around. Some more. Oh, I guess I didn't stay in place long enough. Interesting. So you do have to stay a certain distance. Okay. Very interesting. This could be worth something. I guess I am supposed to keep going. Um, I've already got four, so I thought that's all I had to get. Hmm. Oh, keep an eye on the clock. Either avoid combat or make it quick. Hmm. Okay, so there is more to this level. It's way down here in this pit. Okay. Guessing this will be something important. So that's five logs. All right. Let's see. No data regarding offensive or evasive maneuvers detected. Appears the pilot has craft immediately pulled emergency eject lever at the start of the operation. Okay. Nothing we can sell here. So I guess we'll use this. where I was supposed to go. Okay. And let's see. Is this back to where I started? I'm not sure where I ended up. Um, no, not quite. To the left is set of enemies. Let's look at the top of this hill and see if there's something. There's got to be something I'm missing. So I got five so far. Yeah, I'm assuming it's going to be a restart.
Oh, I guess that was it. That's it for this job, 621. Return to base. Okay. Let's just get it five. Okay. Imagine this being much more quick with uh, my other mech build. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and try it once with it. Okay, OS tuning in arena. Cool. Let's see what's in here. Stand OST chips in your possession to upgrade your AC's OS from the OS tuning menu. Upgrade an OS unlocks features and improves functionality. OST chips can be obtained in the arena. Okay, cool. Oh, cool. Weapon bay. Allowing shoulder weapons to replace with additional hand weapons. Oh, nice. So I don't have any chips. Um, wow, there is a ton of stuff to unlock here. So let's check out the arena. Fight virtual battles against copies of ACs created using all mines, mercenary, and craft data from the arena menu. Win arena battles to obtain OST chips, opponent AC data, and opponent emblems. Use OST chips to perform OS upgrades. Um, let's try one out. Um, let's see, rank 29, F, Invincible, Rummy, AC, Mad Stomp, member of Rad, a doser faction, many other dosers, Rummy is utterly addicted to coral based drugs, and in his perpetually addled state, he has convinced himself he is invincible demigod, even though, even should reality intervene with a costly defeat, He'll forget about the setback entirely by the next day. Only death can dispel his notions of invincibility now. Interesting. Um, let's try it out. Why not? Let me switch Welcome to something to nimble if this one's too hard. Evaluation program. It's a pretty cool looking mech, I've got to say. First subject AC. Mad stomp. Call sign. Invincible Rummy. Commencing evaluation. Main system activating combat mode. No oh, wow. That hurt. Missiles might be enough to take us down. Just circle them for a bit. There we go. Wait for them to do that strike and then we'll bazooka the heck out of them. Looks like it's working so hard. Maybe not elegantly, but it's working. 
There we go. Bam. <laughs> Target destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done. A minute 14. Two chips. Nice data and a cool emblem. Looks like Starry Night mixed with a foot. Okay, let's see about our OS tuning. So we could get boost kick and weapon bay. Now that sounds like that could be really nice. Pulse protection, pulse armor. Oh, there's a ton of stuff. We can make our repair kits more effective. Oh, so this is the all page. This is everything. Okay, I thought it was just one set, but still, that seems like enough to make it worth it. Access speed optimization. Can hack and override more quickly. That sounds like it could come in handy in a pinch. I'll put control to me. Um, so several different ways of making your stuff more powerful. I mean, I think that's what most of this stuff is. Quick turn. Um, that sounds handy too. Salt armor allows it to be installed, creates a pulse explosion center on the AC, canceling out incoming enemy fire and creating a damaging area of effect. Shockwave. Interesting. Manual aiming. Unlocks the ability to perform manual aiming, allows for manual reticle control, but practical usage calls for experience technique. Hmm. I don't know, I might do this. This would be so cool if I could have multiple, but at the same time, I also need boost for stuff. Maybe I'll look at passive stuff. Terminal armor. Automatically triggers pulse barrier when AC's AP reaches its limit. Greatly enhancing defense until the barrier reaches its durability or time limit. Okay. Um, let's do another arena, see if maybe I can get one more. Looks like there's quite a few missions, so... I'm guessing I'll be able to unlock quite a few pieces. Alright, Index, Dunham, a guerrilla leader of the Rubicon Liberation Front. A blue collar worker who is involved in the construction of the grid, he's now dedicated to establishing symbiosis with the coral and building a future for Rubicon free from planetary closure, inspired by Father Dalimon's ideals. Able bodied, and eager, he is zealously dedicated to the cause, but he is more at home in the construction yard than a cockpit. Which means that he might be easy to take on. Let's see. I wonder with the OS chips if I can reassign them to you. Hopefully I can. Aptitude evaluation program. Number 28. Rank F. Hmm. Subject AC. I guess there's 29 Bird total, pickaxe. not 30. Call sign. Index Dunham. Commencing evaluation. This one does look a little bit more wicked than the previous one. Combat mode. Okay, it's definitely more nimble. I bet this one's gonna be a little bit harder. It's running circles around my... So that's gonna be tricky. But maybe I'll be able to overwhelm it, similar to that other guy. Get him a few times the old... Uh, bazooka. There we go. This might work. There we go. That one bazooka hit took out almost half of all of his damage, I think. This guy looks like he might end up being easier than the previous one. I can get just one more good stun on him. He started using his missiles though, and that's part of the problem, I think. He's actually getting some good hits on me, and my meter is going up. Alright, I think it was that one. Okay. 
There we go. Nice. Target destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done. Okay, well, we got his emblem and a few chips. Let's see about our OS now. Alright, let's just go section by section. Uh, dynamic deflection, control tuning. Oh, there's updates. Uh, I guess each of these take a certain amount of chips to freeze the precision ACS base bracing. Posture control, reducing damage received from enemy attacks. Proves AC's ability to scan for damage, boosting the effectiveness of repair kits. Okay. Kinetic weapons, fire control tuning. Optimizes fire control, VC, and weapons enhance all sources of kinetic damage, excluding melee. This one seems similar. Um, for explosive, energy. And this one is a melee improvement. Proves the decision of attacks against staggered enemies, increasing damage dealt by direct hits. So this makes criticals better. And then this is the hacking thing. Uh, let's see, armor, pulse protection, more armor, and terminal armor. Let's see. The AC's AP reaches its limit. Okay. System unlock. Boost kick. Weapon bay. I like it, but like I said, I think I'll need a heavier platform. Weight control. Unlocks ability is sorting when AC is overburdened and to manually purge weapons. Purging weapons increases weight load and improves speed. Uh, that sounds pretty nice, actually. Manual aiming and quick turn. I don't know, I'm leading towards the passives, getting some of this stuff. I think that I might do this and see if it has an upgrade. Oh, it's going to take four. And let's see. Uh, it looks like you... Oh, you can reset the OS updates too. Let's see, it says press F for that. Oh, okay, it costs money to do that. I wonder if it's based on per chip. Bet it is. How about we just save up the other ones then? And like I said, I want to do that one sortie one more time, the one that we were doing uh, with the combat logs, because I think that if I change my assembly, I could probably do it really fast and get like a, at least a B. Um, let's go for this one. Okay, and let's see, expansions, I don't have any yet, okay, so let's do it. I think this will be my final mission before ending the stream, so Main we'll system. move Activating quickly and mode. see where we get. Okay. This gives us some more insight about V4 skills. This fly on by. Unidentified AC. Open fire! Kill the intruder! Analyzing block. Okay, good. Let's go down 
wonder if I can just take out the enemies. That's what gets the mission to complete. something else around here. I think it's weird that the timer would keep running for another like several minutes. Like I said, I'm gonna see kick out enemies. Keep an eye on the clock. Either avoid oh, there is something quick. See text data extracted from rack wreck appears to be a auto transcription for a voice log recorded by an off-duty pilot. Well, we found in Gallia is going to dry up sooner than later. We just can't harvest as much coral as we used to, and what little we do get, the core squeezes out of us. They know we need to raise millworms. How much? How many more children must we watch starve? Some more evidence on what the coral situation looks like. Maybe there is another one. Let's see, I heard a, a warning thing there. Maybe that was something. Okay, those guys are still fighting. I'll head over towards them. somewhere. There it is. Okay, I think there's a world boundary. Yeah, I'm thinking there's gotta be one more body out here somewhere. Otherwise the timer wouldn't keep running. Hmm. Oh, is this one? Yep. Wrap it up. Archibus's main force will be uh. here any minute now. We've got enough logs to satisfy the request. Oh. Uh, okay. Let's restart it. That's what I gotta do. I've gotta get all of them. Main system activating. It looked like a special fight there at the end. Let's see. Commence mission. Now I'm curious what Search other little things have I been missing. I wish I got the faster hack thing too. This gives us some more insight about V4 skills. Okay. Some more evidence of what the coral situation looks like. Now we know to get down into the underground area. Or the ditch, I guess we could call it. Not purely underground. We've got, on We've got two more, and then two down below. Okay. Let's get this guy, and we'll hop down. Okay. And let's head down here. This could be worth something. Okay, let's get it. Okay, and one more. Nothing we can sell here. You, AC pilot. You're no comrade of ours, are you? Wait, you. You killed them all! 
Just hold us up if you engage her. The mission comes oh. before everything else. Shameless. Alright, let's see. Thanes left her data from an intercept. Rest sees a crypto line. When me comes or long will technology Elcano he must hidden though. She has a shield to you. It's no bueno. Not sure we will be able to take her out. She seems pretty tough. We'll see. There it is, the Nova Load. Ah, missed the window though. To watch for that. Make sure I've got some uh, bazookas lined up. I say I'm not sure my tank build would have been able to do this. And I wonder if she's gonna have a lot that will be useful. I think I'll try to get that passive OS tune with the critical damage improvement too. Combat log Get from her to too. To oh, there's more. Interesting. Now, where could they be? Huh. I guess it is possible this is the end of it. I would hope that I got at least an A rating. Don't know. Okay, sweet. We got a log. Mind Alpha Arms. Let's go look at that. Wonder, did I completely misread this? I wonder if we have to forge the arms or something too. None of these are marked as new, so let's see. Let's look at the decals too. Okay. There's quite a few of them that we can put on there. We'll look at that a little bit. And. Yeah. Let's look in here. There it is. That's because we've already got it. Okay. Arm parts developed by all mine from model ACs. Designed as part of a research project to extend human sensory capabilities of numerous optimizations to create an AC that to the pilot feels like an extension of the body. Um, let's see. Load limit and stuff is going to be a problem better armor overall it looks like um let's see tar target dropping target tracking drop but six points of kinetic defense added ap goes up a good bit anti-explosive so this sounds nice if i could get it equipped K 
Okay. And let's see, how's my current loadout going? We're overburdened, so we need to get our load down a little bit. Hmm. The arms do seem like an improvement for the armor, but I don't know if it's worth it. Oh well. We'll look at customizing it a little bit later. I think for now, I'm going to go ahead and roll credits and say thanks for watching. This has been STR Rank. You can follow me on Mastodon, Twitch, and YouTube at STR Rank on each. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.